Okay, I've got some stuff to open. I've left it a month and I haven't opened anything. I've been <laughs> fighting with the urge to open these. So um, I just decided to leave it a little while and then I can show you guys some stuff. So all of the <laughs> addresses are hopefully covered. Yep, they are. I think I've done made that mistake before, so <laughs> it's probably out there already. Anyway, we'll start with this one because actually I've had this out of the, the box it came in. This is a five volt, six amp power supply. One of these big beefy suckers. Uh, and this was from my Amazon, oh, it got a bit damaged, it looks like. Uh, it was from my Amazon wish list, and it was Chris C. I won't say the full name, but um, thank you very much. Um, this is going to be used in my LED pixel display, and which hasn't really come along that great, but. Eventually we'll get there. I've done the software for it, or part of the software, the online interface. So that would be really useful. Um, I think it's going to, it was going to be a 10 by 10 pixel matrix using the, what are they, SK6812? They're like the um, newer pixels essentially, but the cheaper versions. Um, it's going to be those. It was going to be 10 by 10 and then someone pointed out that actually a lot of sprites and things you get from computer games are 16 by 16. So I think I'm going to shift it up and uh, do 16 by 16 instead. Which might mean this isn't enough. <laughs> but 6 amps hopefully will be enough. It should be about 30 milliamps per LED, I hope. So I'll have to do some calculations and figure it out. But um, that would have been enough for the, uh, the 10 by 10. Still. Um, let's move on. Anyway, that's cool. So thank you very much, Chris. All right, let's have a look at this one, I guess. Let's just get straight in there. Du, 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 du. Uh, what is that? That is, oh! An LED microscope. Oh yeah, I picked one of these up because I couldn't read the blooming chip on one of the boards that I was messing around with. And um, it meant that I would have to like really get it in the right angle of light and I thought I could just pick up this little thing. It's not at all what I expected. Uh, so it's a little microscope. This currency detecting, so is it for people to appraise things maybe? Uh, but it should have some LEDs on it. Yeah, well that's good. Oh, it's got a little blue one. What's that all about? Is that like a, a little infrared one or something? And then how does this work? Let me just let's see if I can find something with a small chip on it. Ugh. I don't really have anything with a small chip, but I do have this. And I could try and read one of these chips. Let's see. So let's turn the LED on. And have a quick look. Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. It's a little bit, um, oh you can, it's got a zoom function on it as well. So, is that so I can get further out with it? I have literally no idea what that's, that's done. It doesn't appear to have helped. Well, it's not, um, it's not the best for this <laughs> at all, in fact. I wonder if it is possible for you to see through that. Let's see. Yeah, it's super zoomed in, look. So that's that's me holding it like this. So actually it's, uh, it's a little too much of a magnification. Not sure what I'm even looking at there. Oh well, I'm sure it will come in handy. <laughs> oh well, I think it was about a pound or something, so. What is this? Is this where the batteries are stored? It's going to be some awful button cell battery. Yeah. AG10. Okay, well, it is fine for the money I paid for it. So I don't mind. Okay, I don't know what the blue one's for. I wonder. Oh, well. Th and a lovely <laughs> and awful pouch. It's horrible. Still, you live and learn, don't you? So next, let's try this one. What do we have here? Ah, okay. That's not quite what I expected. So this is another 
Amazon wish list thing. I don't think there's anything on my Amazon wish list at the moment. Um, but these are they're not they're not quite what I imagined. So oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's just um, let's brighten this up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, these are very small. These are meant to be, I think it's Sodile jumper wires. So they're just they're small <laughs> tippery dinned wires. And I thought, oh, those would be great for the breadboard, but actually they're really different. <laughs> In the picture, they sort of look a lot bigger, like a lot thicker. Um, and these, I think, was it James? Yeah, James K. We'll, we'll call him James K. I won't give you his surname, but um, he picked these up for me. Uh, yeah, James, I think you did refer to them as silly wires, silly little wires, didn't you? Well, maybe they are a bit silly. We'll figure out something to do with them. I think they I quite like them, um, but maybe not appropriate for breadboards as I thought they would be, but I'll still use them, I promise. So thank you. All right, what do we got next? Let's go for this one. Ooh. Oh, is this from, I don't know if this is from an Amazon thing or not. It might be, or I might have bought it, I don't know. Because these ones are all, you know, you can get the ones where they come from China on Amazon. So they take ages to get here. Plus you don't get um, to leave a note or anything. Oh yeah, it's a 4017 uh, LED chaser. So it was just a kit for a lazy Sunday, really. It is Sunday today, but I went to a wedding yesterday and uh, I'm not really in the mood to be doing soldering. <laughs> so not that weddings annoy me. It's just, it was a heavy night, I think. Here's what I'm talking about. So yeah, I thought we'd put this thing together. We might replace the LEDs and use different colored ones. That'd be more fun, I think. But yeah, this was for a, a lazy Sunday project. So that's cool. What's this? Oh, we've got some resistors there. They are, and without using a multimeter, those look like they are 150 ohm resistors. So there you go. It's actually just because I think I recognize them, not because I can count the, the bands or anything. And we've got uh, the circuit diagram here that were useful. Although the, the solder mask is on there, so I can use that. Cool. So it's got a 555, which is triggering the 4017 uh, through its clock pulse. And that goes all the way down here. And then it's just using its own reset to go back to zero. So I don't know if it's going to chase back and forth. I don't think it would. No, we'll see. We'll put that together at some point. Let's pop that over there. And we've got a couple more. So there's this one here. Hopefully some of these are things I've bought. <laughs> oh. What is this? Oh, I don't really know. Interesting. It's beefy circuit board there. LM31, this is a voltage kind of regulator, isn't it? Is this a, well, it's gotta be, there's a massive cap there. There are no instructions. <laughs> this will be fun. Okay, so it looks to me that this is probably a step down voltage thing. So it's got a, um, an LM317 on there. So we're gonna be looking at some variable voltage coming out. We've got a potentiometer here with a nice little control knob actually, that's good. I like this. Let's zoom in a little bit, shall we? So you guys can actually see all this stuff. There we go. Yeah, nice little control knob there. I don't know if I bought this, I'm not sure. So we've got our, um, are these for the input? No, the input's got something else. So this is our input block and these are our output blocks. These are like little speaker mounts. Got a fairly nice heat sink here. Although, it, yeah, it's aluminium. So we're gonna stick our, what is this? And, oh, that's the LM317. Power switch. Not really a lot to it, is there, honestly? And a 2N5551. So yeah, that'll be a nice little Thing to put together. I do need something which will give me a variable voltage on my bench, which isn't the proper full benchtop power supply. 
because this my benchtop power supply is actually upstairs um, because that's where I do a lot of the off-camera stuff so if ever I'm working on my own projects and I'm not filming then I'll do it upstairs whereas down here is where I've got um, the lighting setup and the camera rig and stuff like that so this will be done elsewhere I think but that's cool isn't it I'll let you know guys know how that goes we'll um we'll look at it in a future video or something and then the last one this one's electronics parts apparently oh look at that this is not what's on the picture there <laughs> okay so a little while back someone was um sort of not complaining well they did say don't use this um it's crap but i think it's useful but they suggested looking at some other ones that are out there um this is a little usb power monitor and there are more advanced versions out there like this one hopefully i think i've got another one on the way too but um, this should be able to measure over time and also measure the data lines which is nice um, so let's get it out shall we it was cheap i think um, because there are more expensive versions of these type of things out there and um, i just wanted to get something cheap see if it works if it doesn't work i'll pay more money because like the the other usb testers are like 20 quid i've got a um a little socket here so we can plug it in let's have a look was well, that very visible it's not is it god i can barely see that well god that's dark yeah i can i can't really read it let's see if we can bring it up a little closer so you guys can read it oh my neighbor's about to start playing guitar i can hear him setting up so you guys will be able to hear that too yeah it's really really dim also it's not in english <laughs> uh, maybe there's a way of changing the language i don't know there's only one button though so i'm not convinced i don't know why it's so dark okay i'll have to look up online i guess but there are some instructions here oh yeah you can definitely read these no perhaps not anyway so that is the stuff that i've bought i'll investigate this a bit further i don't i don't know if it is possible to change the language or not we'll find out and i'll put some links in the description if i get some time to find them again because these are going to be from months ago i think yeah that's uh definitely not english but i like the display it's just very dim i might um see if i can just take this top section off still we've got the uh i don't know if you can if you can possibly read it but it does say d plus d minus so it's measuring those which is good Let's see if i plug this other one in does it Will it read the current going into this one? Oh, for heaven's sake, it can't even go in. Oh, there we go. Let's see what it says. No, it's not registering that smaller current draw. Have we got anything here that's gonna draw more? Oh yeah, here we go. We've got um, one of these, one of these uh, USB loads. So that is drawing 2.4 oh crap that's a bit high for this um let's take it down this is like a two amp max usb power supply so um it's reading 5.3 5.13 5.16 uh, 1.5 amps so it's easy enough to figure out what these are actually and we've got the d plus and d minus the bus voltage and the effective resistance and it's counting up on here okay should we see what that how so that's 5.13 ish 
and 1.43 amps. Let's just throw on the, I don't know how to say this, but this QYC. So 5.05, .05, so it's about 10 millivolts off. And the current reading's roughly the same, but maybe, I don't know, 100 milliamps out, something like that. So actually that is a fair difference. So yeah, maybe this one is better. Someone did say there's a, a voltage drop within these ones, so this one might be better, but uh, what was it? I can't, is it port power or something like that? Someone wanted me to get. Anyway, they're 25 quid and I just can't afford that. So just gonna go with these cheap ones for now. All right, um, I think that's it. I'll speak to you all. Actually, if anyone's got any advice on these, cheap ones, I don't wanna buy really expensive things. I just, it's just not that important to me. Uh, but if anyone's got any advice on these, that'd be cool. If this one's an all right one, or if you know how to change the language, that'd be brilliant. Um, all right, oh yeah, of course. I forgot to mention, this is, um, I picked it up because it's uh, quick charge compatible. So uh, with quick charge devices, you can run it through this and it won't interfere. I don't think this, this one works with quick charge devices, honestly, but this doesn't interfere with the data lines basically. So it only reads them, it doesn't um, do anything. All right, I'll speak to you all soon.